welcome back to another video how are we all doing it is such a sunny morning and oh my god how much difference does a bit of sun make like oh i feel like i'm in the maldives anyway um right yes you can probably tell by the title of this video i've been ordering more stuff somebody needs to take my bank card off me because it's becoming a problem um so yeah i've ordered more stuff and they are just a few random bits to be honest but i have done unboxing videos in the past and i know if you are like me i love these videos because i just love to see what people are buying i'm just nosy so um yeah i thought i would show you what i got do a little unboxing video and yeah let's get into it so this is the first box i think this is from nsi um, I have already opened it, but I have left it all packaged and I just wanted to make sure my order was right. So, um, yeah, this one is from NSI. Um, you will probably have seen from previous videos, I still use their files and a few bits and bobs that came in my starter kit with them. And I have wanted to basically rebuy from them for, for a few little things. So as you know, if you've probably seen some of my other videos, I do actually normally buy their files in a sample pack. Um, I don't think I've still got the box. No, I don't. But basically I normally buy their files in a sample pack. So it's a pack of six and it comes with two of three different grips. So yeah, I normally buy the sample packs and then recently I've just been, they just seem to be like, I seem to be going through them like there's no tomorrow. So I basically wanted to order some more files, but rather than buying them in the sample pack, I wanted to get them in a bit of a bigger pack. So I ordered from NSI. Ta-da! Um, the 10 packs of these files. So this one is the 100 grip file. So obviously these are what I use to file down acrylics. And I also got the 10 pack of the 180 files as well. So the green and the purple. So yeah, I wanted to get the 10 pack because I just feel as though I'm always ordering. I mean, to be fair, NSI are one of the websites that don't charge for delivery, which is just like a godsend because I feel as though I always order, like say for example, Glitter Bells. Glitter Bells always charge for delivery. And I will buy something and then I'll be like, oh, I was supposed to buy this. So now I'll, I'll need to order something separate because I'm just stupid and I forget things. And then I've got to pay for delivery again. I'm like, oh, it just annoys me. Like I'd rather pay, like I'd rather you say, right, this is like a five or more, but you get free delivery just because it just makes me feel better in my head. Don't know whether that's the same for anyone else, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so NSI, have, yeah, one of the websites that do free delivery. So, um, yeah, I just seems to be ordering a lot of the time for the sample packs. So I thought I'm just going to go and get the bigger packs and then I won't have to order these for a while. So yeah, they're the two files that I got, two packets of files. And then I also needed to buy a new dehydrator. So I use the NSI uh, dehydrator. This was what I was first basically shown when I learnt nails. And this was what came in my starter kit. And I don't know why, I've just like, some things I buy from elsewhere and then some things I will buy from the place that I started. So to be honest, like when it comes to gels and stuff, obviously I just wanna to stick to the one brand. And sort of the same with acrylics, like I'm, I pretty much do just buy Glitter Bell stuff but i don't know why i just still buy my files and my dehydrator from nsi and there's a few other bits that i get from them as well um but you probably know i like everything and where i order everything from because i just feel like all i ever do is unboxing videos because i just always order stuff anyways um so yeah this is the dehydrator that i get it so yeah that is what i ordered from nsi the next box is from Amazon, one of my faves. Um, I get quite a few bits from Amazon sort of like all the time. Like whenever I run out of stuff, I just order the same thing from Amazon. So if you watched my Amazon haul, I'll link it in the corner if you haven't seen it. Um, you will see one thing from here that I order from there, which is my acetone. 
So I get a, I'm sure it's a litre bottle. Yeah. So I get a litre bottle of acetone from Amazon. And yeah, it's lasted me quite a while. Um, I'll just open this up and show you. It is actually a salon, salon systems one. So yeah, there is the acetone that I got. Like I say, it's a litre bottle. It's lasted me so long. I can't remember the last time I ordered one. And here is my last bottle. So I'm just coming to the end of it. So I thought I will stock up now. Obviously, we're allowed to take clients again. I'll be doing so coughs and stuff. So this will not last me that much longer. So yeah, I just get the litre bottles. Um, this is 100% pure acetone. Um, like I said, it's the Salon Systems one, but I get this one from Amazon and I think it's around £10. I feel like I guess these amounts and then I'm always wrong. Like when I say like in the video, like, yeah, I think it's this amount. And then I actually get the screenshot and I'm wrong. But I'll put the screenshot in the corner anyways. So yeah, that's the first thing I got from Amazon. The second thing that I got you may or may not have seen in a previous video because it was the last one that I posted. So I got these alcohol inks from Amazon. Um, if you, I will link the video in the top corner of me using these because I've wanted to try alcohol inks for quite a while and I was just not sure where to get them from. And then in the end, I ended up getting them from Amazon and I was really pleased with them. So these are the six alcohol inks that I got. I think it was around about £14 for the six. And they come in a range of colours. But like I say, I will um, I will have linked the video so that you can go and have a look at me using these because I have done a video on them. And yeah, I just think they're really good for creating different effects on, on sets and stuff. So um, yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have it that if I ever need it, if clients ever want it, then at least I can offer it to them. So yeah, this is Trusty Amazon. I swear you can get so many good things from there. So then the third thing I got from Amazon was this 20 pack of cuticle pens. So basically I normally use this sort of bottle cuticle oil and I normally just place it on the nail with the um, applicator that it comes with. But I've seen, that's the applicator in this bottle, um, but I've seen people use um, cuticle pens quite a lot and I just really liked the sort of idea of it more um, because I think sometimes when you use those applicators that come in the bottles, you can end up putting too much on and then it just gets messy and it just looks too much. So I thought with the cuticle pens, you can obviously control how much you're putting on and literally just get it around the cuticle where it's supposed to go rather than just all over the hands. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give these a go. And the reason that I bought 20 was because I can fill them up and sell them if anyone is wanting a cuticle pen you need to take home to look after the cuticles in between appointments, then obviously that's an option. I think I could either buy six cuticle pens or 20 and in the end I just thought I'll just buy 20 then I'm not going to have to order any you know anytime soon basically so yeah I got 20 and I think they were about 13 pound I'm gonna say I'll pop a screenshot in the corner of them on Amazon but yeah they're really really good quality they basically you just take this lid off and that's where the cuticle pen is oops got some on my glove um so that's where the cuticle pen is and then this end you just twist this so you, if you listen you twist it which then makes the cuticle oil go into the brush so that it doesn't just all come out at once if that makes sense so yeah they're really good quality they're a really great size and yeah i love them i'm really glad that i got them so that is everything from Amazon, those three things. Let me put that down. Then the third box is from Glitter Bells. So I needed to basically stock up on a few bits from Glitter Bells, but then 
and you go on the website you just end up ordering stuff you don't need but you know i'm here for it so whatever you might have seen in a previous video of mine of me talking about the monomer that i'm using and the allergies that i've been getting from doing nails i know a few of you have mentioned that you guys get allergies as well and i know that obviously it's different for every person but mine seems to have gotten a lot better since i tried the hema free monomer so when i tested the hema free monomer i just got a small bottle because i wasn't too sure whether it was going to work i wasn't sure how it was going to be to work with and i will mention in the other video that i would let you know how i got on with it how it was to work with and all that sort of stuff so basically it has helped so much with my allergies it basically didn't give me any like of the issues that i used to have with using the violet monomer so yeah i actually loved it it was exactly the same to work with there was absolutely no difference whatsoever and um, so i basically ordered the bigger bottle so the glitter bells monomer for the big bottle i think is 35 pound so let me get this open how cute is the bag so yeah this is the larger size of the hema free one you can see that there so here's the size difference of my last one and the bigger one um and basically yeah i just wanted to buy this to test it out see how i got on with it and it works exactly how i wanted it to so yeah i needed to buy the bigger one i did have a bigger one of the violet monomer um but i ended up giving it away because i thought to myself when I was doing nails on myself, I can use the Hema Free Monomer and then I was using, when I was doing clients, I could use the Violet Monomer, but it didn't make any difference. Like I basically, throughout lockdown, when I was doing sets on myself, I was using the Hema Free Monomer. Then when we were allowed to do clients again, I thought, oh, I'll use the Violet Monomer. They just use up what I had left. When I was doing sets on other people, <sighs> worst decision. That i made because it just flared it up again and it was just a nightmare so basically i'm still like trying to get over that and i'm never using the violent monomer again <laughs> so yeah the hema free is the way to go for me so this is the only one i'll be ordering from now on the next thing i got from glitter bells were some tip refills so i think i personally think that tip refills are the way forward because I don't know about you but when i use when i buy a box of tips you just don't use certain sizes so it's like the clear pinch square tips that i've got so these are the tips that i am all for at the moment like these are just life um but you will see i don't know that you'll be able to see the bottom ones are pretty much nearly empty like these sort of common tips here but then at the top these just don't get used so it's like if i bought a new box then all of these tips would just be like wasted so i just buy the tip refills um so they're i think they're about three pounds for a packet and you just basically select what size you want and um you can just refill so i got six seven and eight so these are just the sizes. So basically I will just fit them into my most used sizes now. So there's 50 in a pack. Um, obviously you just select the same tips as whatever box you refill in. And yeah, I'm just gonna pop those in now. Right, so that's all my tips filled up now. But like, this is what I mean. So I've just filled these up and I've realized I could have done with a pack of 10 and a pack of five but you know whatever so yeah there's my tips refilled now the next thing i got from glitter bells is three more buffer blocks i literally swear by these i love them so much i prefer them in a block than i do on a file i know that obviously everyone's preference is just different um but this is the best that i've found working with so I bought three of these buffer blocks. They're literally 90p. I'm sorry, but I want to order about 10 every time I see them. So yeah, I just ordered three more of the buffer blocks. I have two ongoing at the moment. 
and I can now throw them away because they're just looking a little bit just worse for wear. Like, bye. So I'll throw those away as we speak. And yeah, so I wanted to get these um, just purely because my other ones were sort of running low on grit. So yeah, three of the buffer blocks. Right, and then the last thing that I got from Glitter Bells and last thing of everything. Yeah, so the last thing I got were two more core powders. So basically, I don't really like working with coloured acrylic that much. I'm more of a gel person and I know everyone has their preferences, like I say, um but yeah jelly is just sort of my personal preference but with the core powders i like to stock up on these because i know that some people prefer just like plain sets and obviously the core powders are all different shades of pinks and basic colors and stuff so i wanted to add one another one into my collection i did buy the pink opal but I bought this in lockdown and that's how much is left and I think I've used I think I've done like two sets on clients using this the rest is me how bad is that anyways so um <laughs> we'll just forget about that so yeah these are the two that I wanted to try and I've said this so many times before I always order stuff when I see things on other people's stories and like pictures of what they've used because I always feel like they look so different on the website than they do in real life so when I see people using them on sets that they've done and I like them then I'll order them so again I, this just takes me back to realizing that you needed to order something else and you've already placed your order um, I basically, I saw one, I saw a set that somebody else had done a few days ago after I'd already placed my Glitter Bells order. And I was like, oh, I love that coloured acrylic. What is it? And she's like, oh, it's Sugared Almond by Glitter Bells. And I was like, cool. I've already placed my order. So now I'm going to have to place another one, aren't I? Because I have no self-control, apparently. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to stop waffling now. This one, this first one, actually, is Porcelain. I don't know whether you can see that it's called porcelain and this is basically like a i want to say like a glass white it's not like a solid white and again i've seen this being used on a set by somebody else and i feel as though this porcelain um core powder is really good as like a base for nail art so if you were going to do any sort of nail art and a client wanted white I think the porcelain would look better underneath it just so it's because it's not a solid color so i wanted to buy that just so i had it there I'm not too sure how often i'll use it but i just wanted that wanted it there as an option because like i say i know that it's going to be a really good base for nail art so i will swatch them after after i've shown you this one as well so then this next one is the peach of cover i don't know why i'm showing you because it's blurry as um, so this is the peach bell cover one and like I say I've seen somebody do a set with this core powder and it looked really nice and like I say I know that people just prefer some people just prefer plain sets and um, rather than all like glitter nail art you know all that sort of stuff I know people just prefer some people can just prefer like a plain nude set that's fine like to be honest that's the sort of stuff that I like um so yeah i just thought like the more color option and shade option that i've got the better um but yeah i did have a pink opal not really so much anymore and um, so i'll have to probably buy another one of that because i did really like pink opal and yeah i'll give this peach bell cover one a go i just slowly want to add to my core powder collection um and build up build that up a little bit so i will go in and swatch these two for you now so that you can see them so the first one I'm going to show you is the Peach Bell cover. This next one I've got is the Porcelain.
there you go that is everything that i've ordered and i hope you loved the unboxing and enjoyed seeing everything that i've ordered because i know i do because i'm a nosy af um but yeah so that's everything i am sure that there's going to be plenty more of unboxings coming because like i said my nail shed is very much coming up to being ready so i'm going to be going on some sort of spending spree i can feel it coming um i'm going to be doing like trips to ikea and stuff that i'm going to be getting stuff for my nail room so i will keep you all updated with that on my instagram so make sure you are following me over on there and on my tiktok as well it's at the nail room by g and yeah remember to like and subscribe as well guys and i will see you guys in the next video bye